out you guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to be doing a plan with me and get ready for vacation and going over kind of so like our like budget things all the things okay guys so I'm sitting here with my mom essentials it is a Monday evening it is 6 50 I just got home from work and I am getting ready to plan I've got all of my pens, so I am definitely a pen person when I'm planning. I've got my pens, I've got my planner, and of course I have a little bit of apothic red as well. So let's get started. Okay guys, so I, like I said, we are getting ready for a vacation coming up. We are leaving on Wednesday. Um, we start our travel day around 11 o'clock on Wednesday morning. So I am now just sitting down. I'm doing like the last of our packing and getting ready to go. And along with that comes with like financially like budgeting and planning. I've already gone through my budget once already. But what I like to do at the beginning of every week, either Sunday or Monday, typically on, um, Mondays I like to sit down and just kind of go over our weekend spending and then now this week especially I need to go through this week's spending so what I like to do is I pull out my planner and then I will flip to today now what I will typically do is I will write down all of our expenses at the top of the week on my planner so I have like my mortgages coming through electric um, just a couple of credit card payments, things like that. And um, I do have a couple of um, payments coming in. So like Mike is getting paid and we have another um, source of income coming in as well. A couple of orders from m, &M Rustics. So I will lay it all out at the top of my planner for the week so I know where we're sitting. Um, we do have a, um, like a like slush or like a fluff fund in our savings account currently that's just kind of sitting there to like help us float just in case if there's an emergency things like that but for this trip what we have done is we have pulled we have cash for our entire trip all right so before i jump into like the logistics and the exact numbers things like that um what i like to do um or what i would like to do i should say what i would like to do is set up a separate checking account in the future for traveling especially now that mike and i are starting to travel more with the kids this is our first trip of many 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 coming up in the near future with the kiddos and it would just be nice to have a separate checking where you could transfer exactly what you need for the trip keep you on budget that is the biggest thing when mike and i travel we like to spend we very much so we go to the airport and we get drinks and of course airport drinks are super expensive we get drinks on the plane um if we're flying alone that is I will not be doing that this time because I can't imagine like having a drink with like a kid in my lap no way um, anyways we like to spend so what we like to do when we're budgeting for trips like this um, is set aside so since we don't have a separate checking account right now we have set that side that we have set that amount aside in cash and we have that sitting in our safe upstairs and we know that it's more than enough we um, went through and we so we were staying with my grandparents as you guys have probably heard in some of my other videos we're staying with my grandparents for this trip so I know that I'm not going to be spending as much in food as we would be if we were staying by ourselves at an Airbnb or at a hotel um, um, just for reference Mike and I went to when we went to um, California back in September if you guys have been around since those videos um, Mike and I went to California went to LA and then kind of like the Laguna Beach and the the OC area um, we went up to Ma or we went to Malibu um, for our five-year ten-year anniversary and Mike and I so our flights, I want to say we're right around $500 um, to fly to LA. And then we spent a few hundred dollars. We actually split a, split a hotel room with my sister and her boyfriend. Um, it was a couple's trip. And then we also spent probably a good thousand dollars while we were there. And that was a crazy amount. And that was because we did not bring cash. And we only had our debit card. Um, Mike, and I, Mike and I really love to travel and we will set we will take the time to make sure that we set aside money for traveling um, now this can be just like skipping a few out to eat meals 
Um, this can be cutting out maybe an extra like Amazon Prime order or Target order or two, and then we'll set that money aside for travel plans in the future. The biggest tip that I have for you guys to stay on budget, especially when traveling, is bring cash and set cash budgets for yourself. Um, again, we are bringing more than enough, and I don't necessarily want to spend it all, but it's nice to know that what we have is what we have. So there's no like, oh, okay, well, we'll just put this on a credit card. We'll just put this on a debit card. That is what we like to avoid when we are traveling. Um, that is what we're gonna be doing from here on out anyways, because before when we would bring our debit card with us to travel, um, like I said, we would just spend and spend and spend because we don't physically see the money going. So, and yes, like a part of me is like, okay, treat yourself, you're on vacation, but remember just, there's like a fine balance between like going a little too crazy and um, staying on budget. So just like keep it right in the middle. Of course, grab yourself an extra drink, grab yourself a treat, get the kids a treat, etc. cetera. But um, what I have planned, like I said, I have about $100 a day or so, actually more than that, but I'm trying to keep us to about $100 a day for our food, um, which should be more than doable. Like I said, we're staying with my grandparents, so you know we're staying in their camper. They're going to be making a lot of those meals. Um, the meals that we're gonna be eating out will be at the parks. Um, so that's gonna be at, like at SeaWorld, we'll probably eat. Um, we're going to SeaWorld on Friday. Uh, my, parent, my grandparents really, really love SeaWorld, so we're gonna go with them there. Um, and that is their treat to the kids, is to bring them there. So anyways. Um, probably we'll go out to eat while we're in the park. Probably we'll get a couple treats. Um, you gotta figure in like gas money because we are renting a vehicle. Um, we're doing a couple of beach days where you know maybe we're gonna stop at like a little beach shack and eat something like fresh seafood, things like that. So we do have money set aside for going out to eat every single day, but mind you, we are not going out to eat for every single meal. Breakfast every single day is covered um, while we're staying with my grandparents. And then um, most likely dinners will be covered. It'll just be like that lunchtime in between meal that we will need to um, likely go out to eat for, except for Disney. Now Disney, what we have planned is we will be grabbing some kind of quick breakfast at the camper in the morning before we head out to the parks, the Disney parks, and we plan to get there early. We wanna be there for rope drop, and with the kids, this should work out well with their schedule because they're up early anyways. The parks don't open till nine, but like the actual like rope drop doesn't happen till nine, but they do have like the main street, like at Magic Kingdom, they have like the main street um, area open about an hour before rope drop. And I've heard it's just best to get in there and then get in line for the rope drop and having your kids experience the rope drop is super fun too. So anyways, in a nutshell, breakfast in the morning will be um, at the camper. Lunch, we are bringing our own lunches with us to Disney um, because we are, staying off resort it's easier easier for us to do so so we are bringing with um we have a cooler that we packed with which i showed you guys in my disney um haul which will be going live on um i believe it's going live on thursday for you guys so we have um lunch will be packed with for disney in those coolers so that will save us some money we'll likely bring like some vegetables some fruit like some snacks some chips um, sandwiches well, and then of course we're still gonna get the kids treats and snacks while we're in the park but the biggest meal while we were while we are there is going to be dinner we do have dinner reservations both evenings at Disney so um, that should keep us right on budget so those Disney meals are gonna be a little bit more the days that we are at Disney I have about hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars a day for food for those days because it will be those will be our biggest spending days and we know that so um, so yeah that is what we are doing as far as like our food budget now we decided to rent a vehicle while we were there um, my grandparents do have a vehicle um, but they like all of us can't fit in one vehicle. They have a pickup, so it would have to be like only my grandma or my grandpa driving with like the rest of us in tow. Um, they are giving us a ride to and from the airport, but then during the um, like the commutes when we're going to the parks and going to the beaches, 
we will have our own vehicle. We just did like an economy car, something that got a lot of gas mileage. Um, anyway, so we felt like we would be able to fit into just an economy car while we were there, and that was $280. And um, on top of that, for Disney, if you guys are wondering, for two days, and we got the park hopper option for like off resort, like having that park hopper, hopper option is super important for us, for especially the first day when we're doing Hollywood Studios for a little bit in the morning, and then we're gonna be doing, um, but then we're gonna be doing Animal Kingdom for the rest of the afternoon, like from like 12 to eight, I believe, like the whole entire time that we were there, we're in Animal Kingdom. So we have the park hopper option. We spent about $960 on those tickets for Disney. Um, our flight tickets were right around $600 for Kaya, Mike, and I, and then Riker is a lap infant. So we all three will fit in a row, which is really nice. Um, but all in all, between like the flights and then the Disney tickets, we spent right around like $1,400. Um, and then we are bringing with an additional $1,400. Now, 280 of that is going to be for the rental vehicle, like I said. Um, and then we have um, about $1,100 to work with there for like food and treats and things like that. We likely will not spend the $100 every single day that we're there, and I'm gonna clarify that. And I know it sounds crazy to, to not spend $100 a day on food when you're traveling, but um, again, we're staying with my grandparents, so that really cuts down on our um, the money that we need to spend on food. So. Um, all in all, the trip, I would say, cost us about $2,800, um, less than $3,000 for us to go to Disney. Um, we are staying with relatives, which cut down the cost, so if you're gonna be traveling, maybe stay with a relative or um, go with a bunch of family members so that you can really cut down the cost of an Airbnb, etc. cetera. Um, I, like I said, last time we traveled, we stayed with my sister and her boyfriend, and we only spent like a couple hundred dollars on a five-day um, stay in California and we stayed like right off of Seal Beach and it was a beautiful area it was so cute um, anyways that's how we like to cut down we just like to get out there and travel we don't like if we're gonna go on a luxurious vacation we typically will do like an all-inclusive um, Mike and I have been to Cozumel in Mexico and that was our first experience um, doing like an all-inclusive and that was amazing I think we spent about three thousand dollars on that trip as well um, we like to stay in about that $3,000 range. So, especially like, so we do like an annual trip like this every year, or at least we try to, um, and that's always our budget is right around $3,000, and we are just lucky that we're able to bring both of the kids with us this time for the same amount. So, anyways, okay, so that is like, my budget planning as far as the trip, um, and then, like I said, what we have is what we have. We're not gonna spend above and beyond that. So, um, again, when I am planning on my weeks, I like to color code everything. Now, when it comes to planning, like, I get a lot of questions as to how I organize out my weeks in regards to, like, with YouTube, and then you guys know that we have the side business, and I work full time. I work four 10 hour days a week. So I need to make sure that my schedule is pinpointed. It is all written down because otherwise I will fall off track. For YouTube, I like to use this cute pink pen and I will write down all of my videos that need to be uploaded for the week. So i.e. Um, like tomorrow will be my plan with me video, which is this. Thursday is my Disney haul. Um, and then on Sunday, I have a get it all done with me, like clean the entire house and pack and everything like that. That'll be coming on Sunday for you guys. And what I like to do is write it out on my planner in pink. And then for the Eminem Rustic orders that I like to do, um, which is a lot less than it used to be, I will go through and I will use a blue pen and I will write down the orders and I will like, okay, so this is my process for Eminem Rustics. I will so say like today Mike has to make a mud room or a media center. I will write that down right here. I will say, um, you know, like Mike me media center. And then two days later, like here I would say like customer, like Jody is picking up her media center on Wednesday night. I would write that in blue. So I make sure I write down all the customer pickups and then I also write down all of my schedule in here and sometimes that will change. Um, we have to be flexible with our schedule, especially with kids. 
um, and sometimes I have to work later hours. Mike has to work later hours. He gets stuck out of town, whatever it may be. Um, so we do need to be flexible with our M&M um, &M Rustics schedule. But that's what it used to look like. Now it's getting a lot better um, now that we don't have as many orders and we're trying to transition into the blog instead. So, um, and then this week, of course, I have written down our flight. Um, and I have all of the flight related things written down as well. So before I continue, this video is long guys. I really hope you have a glass of wine yourself <laughs> and you are sitting and sipping along with me or coffee or juice or whatever it may be. All of the trip related planning. So I have like tomorrow night, I need to make sure that we check into our flight by like about 7.30 is what I have written down. So I'll check into our flight. I have plans with my manager tomorrow night. We are getting together for a work event. So I have that tomorrow night as well. And then I also need to edit a video and then I'm up the next morning at 4 a.m. Um, to make sure that I get to work by five because I have to work from five to 10 before we leave at 11 for our travel day. It is nuts. I know it is nuts. My schedule is insane, but this is what it is. And we are like willing to make, we are willing to do pretty much anything to make like these kinds of travel plans happen. So we work very hard, but then we also play in vacation very hard. That's my tip. Work hard, play hard. Um, and then of course, over here I have everything written out and then I also need to remember to purchase my seat selections for our flight home. I've already done so for our flight there. We chose, um, I think we went through Cheapo Air because there was some insane deal. We've used Cheapo Air in the past and have had great success with it, so I do highly recommend Cheapo Air. Um, but anyways, I it's with two different airlines this time, which is a little bit different for me. So we're flying Frontier there and then we're flying Spirit back. And like I said, I already have our baggage and our seat selections for the way there with Frontier, but I still need to book um, our seat selections and baggage for the way back with Spirit. And I know that I'm gonna have to pay the overweight limit on um, our bags. So it will likely cost us like $90 a bag instead of the $60 a bag because our bags are gonna be at like 45 pounds. And with Spirit, if you guys don't know this, Spirit, your max weight is 40. And with Frontier, your max weight is 50 without any additional extra fees. So just a little tip there. But I have it written down that I need to do that by Friday. Um, again with my um, YouTube videos and then with the next week coming back um, and then I have written down like our paychecks from um, from the next week and then our following bills and then for extra money like in, re in regards to like saving I like to take basically whatever is left over I'll give us like a couple hundred dollars and then I'll shove the rest into savings and I like to keep most of it there. Mike and I are working on especially this year is we're trying to do like a snowball like debt relief so we just we have a couple of credit cards and we have our student loans that we just want to get paid off completely we are considering purchasing a new home sometime in the next year and a half or so. So in order to plan for that, we like to just clean up our debt, really clean up the credit scores. So with that savings account, I might like toss an extra $500 on a loan, um, $500 towards our like mortgage, whatever it may be. I just like to toss extra money towards that debt to really just snowball um, and get rid of those smaller payments. And we we did a lot of that last My year. Mommy. So a couple other things I want to touch on before I end this video is I just want to cover like general budgeting tips. So like I said, <laughs> Riker's trying to climb up here. Um, like I said, um, I write down like what our checks are, like our income is for the week. And then I write down all of our bills um, for the week as well. And then I see whatever we have extra and I put that in savings. But as far as our bills, so I will write down, we have a weekly daycare expense. Um, our groceries for the month, if you guys are wondering, we spend about five to $600 on groceries a month. I try to be conscious of that grocery budget and I do stay like spot on, even with formula lately, like $600 has been spot on. For us, um, for groceries, now right here coming off of formula, it'll be a little bit cheaper or maybe we'll make a little bit more room in the budget to get like some extra things. We like to shop and eat really healthy. Um, we do Costco hauls, as you guys know, um, at least once or twice a month 
and that's where we get the majority of our groceries and produce and meat is from Costco. Typically what I will do when we're in like big savings mode is I will cut out like the extra Target trips and the Amazon Prime stuff, all of those things I will cut out completely and then we will just stick to our gas and our food budget for the week and then not deviate from that and then we also allow a little bit for like wine and fun things like that too. As far as income, both Mike and I work full time jobs. I'm an accountant. <laughs> And then Mike is, a, Mike is an estimator um, and also a scheduler for a um, local construction company and um, we also do YouTube and we do M&M Rustics on the side. So we are like working around the clock, although like YouTube doesn't really seem like work. So we do have income coming from several sources and we're trying to tie down like the M&M Rustics side has been insane and it has really controlled our life if I'm being honest with you for the past almost five years because we started it just after I had Kaya. Um, we transformed from like signs and then we went from gates and barn doors and now we're doing custom, um, custom made furniture pieces. So Mike and I, like I said, we're not like in like super savings mode right now. Um, we're really trying to cut down m, &M Rustics and turn that into a blog so that we can share um, on our own terms and like make our own schedules and really just enjoy our lives more with the kiddos. All right, you guys, so just to wrap up this video and to give you just like general guidelines, what we like to do is we like to write down all of our bills for the month, all of our income from the month, and then we assess like, okay, do we need to get clothing like for the kids this month? Do Mike and I need clothing? Is there something that maybe we've had our eye on for a while that we wanna get? Are we saving for a trip? Things like that. So, and generally we will just shove all of our extra money into savings that we can. And then um, of course, allow ourselves to kind of like get those treats along the way throughout the month. So that is what we do. And I will have more of an in depth and I will show you guys like step by step um, with like my pens and stuff. I will do a Sunday morning like plan with me. Um, and like show you guys exactly like what I do when I sit down and I plan out like for the week um, And then I will go through um, Like general I'll give you guys like more exact numbers I know it's like always kind of like personal and talk about finances and things like that But I think that it's important to just kind of like put it out there and say like hey Like we make sure that we save like 20% of our income We make sure that we give ourselves 10% of our income for extra spending, whatever it may be. Anyways, that is how we plan and budget for our trips and just kind of budgeting in general. I hope that gives you guys a little bit more of an idea. I don't know why, but this has been like one of the most highly requested videos on my channel, like how we budget. And I thought how fun to like start a budgeting series and to like start it out with budgeting and planning for a trip. So, and Mike and I like to travel a lot. We have lots of traveling coming up this year. We will be um, going to Colorado for about a week and a half and we have lots of weddings and we will be doing an upcoming um, friendcation with our friends and we're gonna be doing something like super fun like Mexico, Jamaica, something crazy like that. So anyways, all right you guys, I'm gonna leave you there. I hope you enjoyed this budgeting and planning video and I will see you on Thursday for a Disney haul and then we will be back. And then we will be back to our normal day in the life vlogs and hey guys, videos. I'm saying bye. You're saying bye? bye All right, channel. bye guys.